I'm David Romashenko and today we're going to be talking about fishing reels in our in a continuation from our last article keeping equipment care part one fishing rods this time around we're going to be talking about fishing reels fishing reels you can get a cheap one for thirty dollars at the local Walmart or you can step it up all the way up to the higher end reels in the Shimano line, Shimano line, they can go up to over $600 for the really higher upper ones. But today, we're going to be talking about just a city cod that here that I have. I really like these reels for a few good reasons, but more on that later. Uh, I first got into uh, fishing reel maintenance when I met a guy named Warren Williams. He's uh, he's a rod builder and a fishing reel mechanic, to sort of say. Uh, he lives in Melrose, Minnesota, and I'll have his information that for you later on in the uh, movie. But today, we're he told me that uh, the general fishing reel has to be taken apart at least once a year and have all the parts cleaned and greased and oiled of course. Now, he uh, another thing that he told me was that, that I did not know up until I did this article uh, is that the bearings inside these reels if they run dry that's not typically a good thing. Um, he said at least once a year, once a month if you're really putting a lot of use on your fishing reels, you should oil all as many bearings as you can easily access to. Um, some examples of bearings that are easy to access on the Sitka will be the one right here on the spool. Right there. And what I will typically, what I will do now, from now on, now that I know better, is I'm going to take some of this Adrian Real Butter oil and just place one drop on there. That will help keep that bearing oiled and not running dry during the summer until I can get it to Warren to get the reel entirely serviced. Another one that you should probably do, take off the spool here, is this little guy right here. He's sort of the clutch bearing. When you engage the reel, it lets go of the spool shaft here so that you can make the cast. So I'll just go ahead and place one drop of oil there. I'll reinsert my spool here. And that is typically all I really, all you really need to do during the summer to keep your reel in good condition for the bearing, bearing wise. Um, now, when you go to to uh, when the fishing season's done, a good thing to do is first off take the reel off the rod. Let me put the cap back on here is to take the reel off the rod and back off the star drag that there's washers in there that get compressed to help power the drag on the reel and if they're under pressure all the time they'll eventually flatten out and you may need to replace them so when you done with the fishing season just back off the star drag also back off on the spool tension just a little bit then I would recommend having the reel sent off to get serviced uh, Shimano does you can send your Shimano reels to Shimano and they'll they'll go through it and clean it up lube it grease it and replace any parts for anywhere depending on, depends on how many parts of course at a minimum fee of twenty dollars 
And I have not used their service yet, but mainly because I send my reels off to Warren Williams. And he he does the same exact thing, except for he goes into a lot more detail when he's cleaning his reels for other people's reels, for that matter. I if you want he pretty much can bring a reel to showroom to all the box brand new, except for any cosmetic markups you've done on the real surface. All for about a minimum of twenty dollars. Plus he'll then um, up, he'll replace any car, parts that need to be replaced. And if you want, you I get, he can upgrade some uh, some items like upgraded bearings. Um, a neat thing that I really like is on my reels. He's put a little bit of a cushion or a grip onto the reel there, just to, so that when it gets wet, it won't be. My my thumb won't be flipping, slipping. I mean, yeah. Um, if you choose to overhaul the reel yourself, uh, most reels today come in a box. Come with a reel schematic in a box. Um, a few things you're gonna need is some quality reel oil, some quality grease, a toothbrush. Uh, most reels need a 10 millimeter wrench, some cotton swabs and a nifty electric, electrical screwdriver that but me I'm not comfortable doing my own tournament reels so I'll just ship them off to Warren he'll he'll do everything he needs to do to this reel and I'll get the reel back ready for spring but when I do get my reels back for spring I like to put them in a like to keep them free of dust, especially since I just got them back from getting clean and lube. So what I'll do is I'll take a plastic bag and insert the reel into the bag. Seal it up. And there you just added protection from dust, water, and moisture from getting through the reel. And I like the bags here that have the contents and dates thing. Just something I like. Take a mark, permanent marker, give it, say what's it in there, Sitka 200D. I like to put what pollen test is on it, 50 pollen power pearl. And then, it, to add another layer of protection, I still got the box that was shipped. Uh, I bought this reel off of eBay actually. I'll put the reel back into the box. To add an yet another layer of protection. And then I'll actually put the box into a dresser drawer or something. Just to really make sure that there's no dust dirt, moisture, or any other elements can get into my reel. Um, at least once a year, you really should take the reel apart again, just to, as a reminder. For more informational articles written by me, log on to ClassicBath.com or log on to my new website, www.DavidBronenschenkel.com Dot com, where you will find my tournament results, my history, a little bit more about me, and more videos like this one. And I just started a new segment called The Life Behind the Scenes of a Tournament Angler, where I will show you throughout the season everything from sponsorship deals I make, practice updates for tournaments, the actual tournaments themselves and post post commentaries on my tournaments that I fish. Thank you and have a good night.